these drawings have marked you and even brought your eyes with tears. And as Paolo Coelho said, tears are words that need to be written. But let me ask you a question. Is there anyone who knows how to give a scientific definition to tears? And also, what are the main components of tears? And what are the different types of tears? My name is Farah Naradi, and together we will find answers for these questions. Let's start with the scientific definition to tears. Tears are drops of salty liquid that can sensibly moisten the eye and flows of it under the effects of a pain or emotion. Tears are made up of water, of course, but not only. They consist of tear fluid secreted during tearing. It's produced from blood filtration. Now we know that water is one of the main components of tears. Let's discover others. As a main component of tear, we can find mineral salts like calcium, phosphorus, potassium and sulfur and let's see an experiment that I did and show us another component of tears while using silver nitrates e.g. an O3 on a quantity of tears we notice the formation of a Y precipitate which blankens with the contact of light so we can say that tears contains chloride ions or sodium chloride and ACL Note that the pH of tears is about 7.7, .7. they are therefore neutral. If you're asking me why our tears are salty, let me give you the answer. The ions often live in pairs, A+, plus, accompanied by an anion, A-. Minus. For example, on our tears, we can find Na+, plus, there is the sodium, accompanied by Cl-, minus, there is the chloride, which give us the NaCl, the chemical formula of salt. These ions are the responsible of salinity of tears. So, let's move to different types of tears. As the first one, we can find basal tears. Basal tears are the ones that come out of our eyes all the time and are produced by the lacrimal glands. They come consistently to the eye and go through the lacrimal points. Their function is to protect us from dirt or other foreign objects. But if our eyes are healthy, we do not notice their presence. Reflex tears. Reflex tears are the ones we produce when we, when we expose ourselves to a bad smell or garbage or when we cut an onion. In addition to occurring in large quantities, this kind of tears contain antibodies that protect us from germ and bacteria. On the other hand, we find the emotional tears. The emotional tears are the ones we produce when we feel very sad or very happy. This kind of tears contains a much larger amount of hormones and encephalins, a natural tranquilizer which make us feel better once we cry and balance our mood. This was my short video about tears. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.